take two. Hi, this is Sharon Brennan, Cottage Lane Stamper and Independent Stamping Up Demonstrator. And today I'm going to share with you one of the, the bundles that is in the um, 2018 um, Occasions Catalog. This started, looks like this, um, January 2nd and it'll run through March 31st. And it's also our celebration time. So whenever you order anything over 50 for every $50 that you order from the catalog or even combine with annual catalog, you'll be able to get one free thing for um, every $50 from this catalog. So, and they have something new this year. If you spend $100, then there are certain things in here that you can get for that $100. Um, one of the things that I got was there's some cute things in here. Um, this it's called the Amazing You Stamp Set and the Celebrate You Thinlets. And uh, you can see that card there. It's really cute. Um, and if you you know a good way to earn that would be to have a a either a book party maybe at work or a party in your home or even a Facebook party. If you don't have a demonstrator. Um, we don't have to be next door to do this, except for the in-home one. Um, but we could do an online online party, um, or you could do a book party at work. So if you don't have a demonstrator, let me know, and I'd love to be yours. Um, so this is the set that we're going to work with, the barn door, and the framelits. And the pieces that we are going to be using are... This is for the slider, the door, and this bar will go on top of the slider merely for decorative purposes. Um, a wreath, and this is the little bow for the wreath. And these two little hoobie jabbers, they go on top of the door to run along the um, track. And then this little piece is for the door handle. And we're also going to be using sentiments. I love it when they have a sentiment that has one for the inside and one for the outside. So, may your troubles be less and your blessings be more. And nothing but happiness come through your door. So, I love those too. And then, um, we're going to use the little stamp for the uh, door handle too. And we're going to be using basic gray ink for the um, little track hardware pieces and early espresso for um, the wreath and flirty flamingo for the bow on the wreath and crumb cake for the barn door. We're also going to be using some Fender washers, that's what I call them. They're about the size of a penny. You can use pennies too. And we're going to use two of these, or actually four, two for each um, half of the barn door that'll run on the track. And the pieces of paper that we're going to be using, we're going to have a, a piece of very vanilla cardstock that's four and a Four, four and a quarter by five and a half and another one of the same size in a DSP. I love this one. Um, it kind of looks like a barn door to me so that's what I'm using it. And then a piece of um, crumb cake for our barn door that's three by four and a half. Two pieces of very vanilla that are one and a half by two and a piece that's one by six for our track and hardware. And then another piece that is, what is this, um, one and three quarters by two for our wreath. So let's get started first by stamping our barn door. We get a good coverage on there. It's kind of hard to tell with crumb cake. And 
stamp. Now, I have seen cards with two barn doors um, facing each other. So, and that would work. You could still do that on the size of paper. One is stationary, and then the other one slides over the top. So, we're going to cut that out with this, and we're going to cut this out with this. And let's see. I, whoop! I am going to close that up. Oh, I want to snap my wreath. Nope, but I need early espresso for that. So. this and my wreath stamp yeah, can you see that very well and then oops I need a piece of flirty flamingo I'll just find a scrap piece here because you don't need much for the bow you know, I found a piece that's kind of, I think this would make a really pretty bow. It'll give it a little extra um, dimension to the card. So I'm going to use that for my wreath. So I am going to go cut these out, and I will be right back. Hi, I'm back. I've gotten my pieces cut out. Um, I don't know about you, I have a kind of a love-hate relationship with my magnetic plate. Especially with these tiny pieces. <laughs> they does want to keep moving around and as you can see this this is a piece that we're going to be using here so I use actually removable tape to um, hold them in place so or you can use a post-it note or flags anything of that nature um, I had a magnet I have a little basket here with a magnet in I'm going to put those pieces in there so I don't lose them because they are very tiny. Get rid of this tape. And so, I'll show you this. This is how I laid it out on that one piece of strip. So a six inch piece by, by one inch uh, will work perfectly for that. So, get rid of that. And put this aside. Get rid of that. And I forgot to, to uh, stamp my bow. So, I inked up this this portion of my um, stamp with the flirty flamingo and then I put it upside down and so I'd get it on there straight so in case you ever forget to do something like that that's kind of a helpful little tip now let's see what did I do with my oh I forgot my base over at the big shop be right back and I'm back and I'm gonna set these over on the side um, because the DSP is not as heavy as our regular cardstock, I have a piece of just copy paper um, or lightweight cardstock that I get for other things. Um, and I'm just going to attach it to the back of my DSP for a little extra moral support, should we say. Um, so that it runs better on the, uh, some of our DSP is heavier, but some of the specialty stuff is a little bit lighter weight, so I'm just going to line those up, and I just cut it a little hair smaller, um, just so it wouldn't show on the other side. So, now our door, let's see, now when we attach this to our um, very vanilla cardstock. We're going to use dimensionals. And if I can find my regular size ones here. There we go. And if you've watched me before, you know that uh, we don't waste any of this stuff. So I'm going to put this here. You could also use some of our um, foam, foam strips. This would work really good for there, too. And this one I'm going to use here. We have to make sure we don't get it in the way of the track. And I am going to use some of my foam strips for this. There we 
we go. I'm going to cut a piece. Let's see, that'll be... These foam strips work very well for shaker cards, too. So... And then I want to put one strip on each side of the where the track is going to go. And hopefully, I'm getting this far enough away. So, I cut a little bit too much there. so many cute things in that occasions catalog it's really hard to decide when I first saw this set I knew it's one that I wanted I don't know I have this thing about doors or barn doors especially or barns I should say one of my friends from high school is a professional photographer CJ and we both love old barns a couple years ago we went out to my grandparents' old farm site um, to see if we could get in and take some pictures of it. But it was, it's been sold to somebody else and weren't able to get in. So now to put this together, we are going to use some of these mini dimensionals because they're just the perfect size for this before we were cutting down our regular dimensionals so that they'd be small enough. Wait, I only need one on each. That's right. Okay. And my fourth one. So we are going to put them together like this. And then kind of slip it in here. Try not to tear the paper. Lift it up a little bit. In the middle, that's better. Well, or we can do that. There. It slides good. And that worked pretty well, so we're going to do the same thing again. Let's see. Put it there. Kind of center that hole there. If you get these fender um, washers, I got the ones with the smaller holes in the middle, just because I thought they would they would work better. So put that there. See, are you going to slide? Oh, it came loose. Yeah, because my dimensional is not centered, that's why. There. And now our barn door will fit on here. Okay, here's a tip. Make sure you use the right fender washers. These are 1 8 inch by 5 8 inch. And these should be work much better because they're smaller and won't be seen. So, let's see if we can get these guys out. Okay, here's a tip I just discovered. When you're um, putting the washers on, um, 
sure this is centered here, but your dimensional is off center so that um, the narrowest part goes to the bottom. There. So your door will cover it. So just discover that. Anyway, let's um, see if they slide. I'm going to slide. Yep, they slide. So that's good. Now, I guess we need uh, two more, one for each side. So I'll be right back. Now that we have our washers in place, we're going to attach the barn door. So I'm going to slide them all down to one end. And I think I'm going to use, oh, when I did that, they turned a little bit. Make sure I have the narrowest portion down there. So I'm going to use some, uh, some real good adhesive so this doesn't come through. I ran out of fast fuse, but I still have some of my good old sticky strip. Corner. You don't want these to come off. Um, that would not be good. You give a card to somebody and the whole thing fall apart. If it was a good rub down, they seem to come off easier with. And I'll put some on the other side. And I like to use my paper piercer to get this back enough. There we go. But it doesn't... It likes to stick to your fingers. As you can see here. <laughs> We're going to make sure these are down here. And cover that a little bit. And then we're going to slide these down to the other end. All the way down, buddy. There you go. It's here. There we go. That wasn't that easy. Now we're going to use some. Uh, I'm going to get my little mat out here, a silicone mat. And put some glue on here. And this will go above the barn door. Oops, brand new bottle. We'll just run a little strip along here. Just a, you could also use your fine glue pen for this. Pick that up. You know, I really should have used is uh, I love. I'm gonna wait with that for a second. Um, our adhesive sheets for something like this. We're going to put these little guys on top first. Just a little He's up here. We're going to put one there. Whoops. There. And one a little bit here. And if you do have a little bit of that washer sticking out, it kind of covers it up. Now we'll put this on here because we want it to look like it's 
running on the rail here. And this little guy doesn't want to cooperate. It's one nice thing about the <laughs> multi-purpose glue. <laughs> you can move it around a little bit. So that'll slide back and forth. Now, we are going to do our sentiment. And I'm going to do that in early espresso. I don't know about you, but my work surface just gets messy when I'm playing here. I know in our group we call this card therapy. Because it really does, it's very relaxing. That's a little crooked. So I have my sticker on crooked. Oh, that looks like it's good. Close that up quick before I get something in there. And then I'm going to use my little corner rounder. <clears throat> Unfortunately, they don't sell these anymore. I don't know why they discontinued it, but. Maybe they'll bring it back. Sometimes they do that if we request enough. There. <clears throat> and we're going to put this on this side here. Just a little bit of steel. glue for this. No matter how careful I am, I always get glue on my fingers. I don't know. Glue and ink. There. And I'm actually going to use some of our mini dimensionals on the back of that too. Pop that out a little bit. It's a little bit crooked there. Don't want it to show through. And that'll hang there. And you know what? I think I'm going to dress this door up a little bit too, um, or these sentiments. There's some flowers that come in the set, and I'm going to stamp a couple flowers, and I'll be right back. Okay, I stamped a couple little um Flowers is another bow in the set, and I just stamped the bottom part, uh, or inked up the bottom part in a Flirty Flamingo. And I'm going to, let's see, there are these little hearts that you can stamp out too. Um, and, or hearts, <laughs> and flowers that you can stamp too. So let us, I think I'm going to put that right there, the glue dot. dresses it up a little bit and I think I'm going to take one of these small ones if I can pick it up and put that down there and on the other side I will uh, 
I'm going to get some more glue dots and put some on the other side. And I think I'll put this one down here. Kind of offset it a lot. A little bit. And you know, I'm going to try and ink up one of these flowers here. I don't know if this will work or not, but I'm going to give it a whirl. Yeah, it's cute. There. I like that. So, may your Troubles be less and your blessings be more and nothing but happiness come through your door. I think that's a beautiful sentiment. Anyway, thank you for stopping. One of my washers in the back here. Thank you for stopping in today. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it wasn't too long for you. And um, give this a try. It's a really fun set and I'm sure you could come up with some other ideas. I will be posting this video on my blog cottagelanestamper.blogspot.com and also on my Facebook page for the same name as well as my um, store blog um, SharonBrennan.stampinup.net So thanks for stopping in. I hope you enjoyed this and uh, God bless you.